Hiya folks, welcome to today's ferry video, which is not a very easy ferry video for me to make because the ferry departs from Haysham in England, which is about 250 miles from home and it's involved three trains this morning just to get there and three quite tight connections at that. Now, so far we're okay, we're on the Trans Pennine Express, this is the middle train and it's on time, but I've just found out that the third train is cancelled, so with the tight connections, I'm wondering whether we're going to get on this ferry at all today, but I think the best case scenario will probably be to jump in a taxi and just hope that we make it. Unfortunately, the catering service will not be bringing the trolley through the train. Sometimes you start a day's travelling and you just think the world's against you. Not only have I had a cancelled train, but also my assigned seat on this, the longest train of the day, was right next to a screaming child. But thankfully, I've been able to find this bike carriage. Yes, that's right folks, I'm back in a bike carriage. But this one's a bit more comfy than the one in Norway. At least I've got a seat. Just a wee update for you guys, the really nice train conductor's been doing his best to find out what's happening with my connection. It's awfully good of him, he doesn't need to do that, it's a completely different train company, but he seems to think that there will be a bus replacement service that should get us to the ferry on time, so fingers crossed for that. I tell you what, I might have problems sometimes with the trains in the UK, but the staff that work for them are never anything short of excellent. Here on the right hand side we've got the tiny river Sark and this marks the border between Scotland and England. Here we are at Lancaster. The train was about four minutes late, so that gives me about 10 minutes to find out what's happening next. Oh, this is so stressful, guys. There was only one place for information, and it was queued out the door. I eventually got to the front, and they said there is a replacement bus leaving from the other side of the station in about two minutes. Thank you. All right, we're on the bus. Let's just hope this is the right one, eh? My time in Lancaster was just stress. I wish that when there was a cancelled train and a replacement bus, that they would put someone on just for that because just waiting at the regular ticket desk really wasn't good enough.
Thank you. Uh, talk about cutting it fine, eh? But we've made it to the ferry port just about 20 minutes before check-in closes. And over there behind us, we've got the brand new ferry, the Manxman. This is its first day of service and it's the whole reason that I'm here today. I couldn't quite get the first sailing because that came from the Isle of Man, but we'll go back to Douglas this afternoon on its second sailing. Hello there. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Well, there's a wee bit of a delay to get on board, so I needn't have worried coming here. I was all stressed, but then we were just waiting in the departure lounge for about half an hour. We'll call it teething problems on the first day. And deck seven, I think this is the first kind of public deck. Yes. So here we are on board and I must admit to being quite excited it's not every day you can go on a ship's first proper voyage. And of course everything was looking, well, ship shape for us. Towards the bow you have the majority of the lounge seating and a lovely coffee shop with even more lovely cakes. Around midships you'll find the shop and onboard information and some pretty snazzy looking merchandise as well here. Towards the stern is where the bar and restaurant are located and that's about it to be honest apart from some aft outdoor areas and deck 8 being reserved mainly for cabins and lounges. Wow, first impressions, it's all very light and airy. To me, it's got a kind of super yacht vibe to it. It'll be interesting to see how this kind of colour scheme ages after the ship's a few years old. And listening to a few of the people that were checking in, that do this route quite often, it seems like this is a big upgrade on the other ships. That's us on our way out of Hesham now. I thought it was Hesham, but apparently it's Hesham, so I've learnt one thing today. Now, when we leave port on any ferry journey, I like to be in the outdoor decks, but to be honest with you, outdoor space 
does seem a wee bit limited on board. I'm on deck nine at the moment where it's not really that big and you've got another couple of areas on decks eight and seven just right at the stern of the ship but as far as I can see that's all we've got. <laughs> I'm not even sure we can get to deck eight. Maybe that's for one of the exclusive lounges or something. So we might be stuck with the tables here on deck seven and that small space that we were at in deck nine. steak pie was about a tenner but I tell you what it's really good value it's absolutely packed with steak it's like a proper butcher's pie you know and I like how they serve it with uh, gravy and mushy peas down this way I'm back outside again. To be honest, there's not that much more to see in there. And in fact, there's not much of a view on this route either. But there are some lounges that you have to pay to upgrade to inside. And I'd hope to ask nicely and try and get in just to take some photos to show you in the video. But that was met with a very stern no. I think the staff member was having a stressful first full day, shall we say. tell you what it's absolutely roasting out on deck today it's very sheltered back here so I'm staying in the shade <laughs> oh it's a hot day Aye, so as you can see here, the only outdoor space is at the stern on deck 7, 8 and 9. But on deck 8, it's only for the lounges. So you've only got deck 7 and 9, it's not really much space, is it? I can now see the Isle of Man off through the hazy afternoon sun. So that makes it even harder to imagine what the weather forecast has got in store for us. Coming off the Atlantic tomorrow morning, we should have high winds and heavy rain. And I'm only on the island for a few hours, so that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. 
gentlemen, we will shortly be allowed to fund our boat. On behalf of the captain, officers and crew, it has been a pleasure to be in Jim with you today, and we do hope that you choose to travel with us again soon on board Manson. Well, the ferry seems to fit in the port pretty good. Welcome to the Isle of Man. Let's get ashore. Just got to navigate these doors one last time. There we go. Patience is the key. Ah, it's such a beautiful evening and now that I'm off the ferry I can say officially welcome to the Isle of Man. My first time here and the first day's sailing of the new steam packet. What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Now I'm still going to be here tomorrow and I've got a few hours and I'll do as much exploring as I can. But the next time I see you I'm afraid I think it's going to be raining. Thanks for watching folks. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Folks, it's that time again, you know what's coming, room review, and it's not going to take long, as always. Single bed, towels, kettle, TV, open wardrobe, and my own wee toilet and shower. And, don't let me forget, look at this. Ugh. I call that a sea view. There we go, what more do you need? Right in the centre of town, 50 quid a night.